Greetings! Too busy beating on Autodesk to get a haircut, boy. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um, this is this is a completely different video to what it started out. Originally, this was a video to let you know that this website existed and to advertise it. Free advertising for Autodesk. Woo! But then, as I started to go through the video, so obviously this is this this actually it's more than the second time I've recorded it. It changed the the tone completely changed. I, I ended up giving them more feedback than actually letting you know about what this is so i'm going to change the tone here and this is going to be purely feedback to autodesk because i want to see this website succeed it's in my best interests to see this succeed and it's in everyone's best interests everyone could be a winner from this website if it's done right unfortunately it's got a lot it's got a lot to to, to improve on but that's fine it is it's a new website it's not early access it's live it's young it's work in progress so this is my opportunity, I suppose, just to let Autodesk know. And it, whoever's responsible for this website, I, I kind of know they will see this uh, eventually. I want to be kind of pragmatic with the with the criticism because, like I said, I want to see this succeed. So this is Services Marketplace, if anyone's thinking, oh, what the hell are you talking about? The whole point of the Services Marketplace is to put end users in touch with credible service providers. So a service provider will register with the marketplace, they'll tell Autodesk what their credentials are, their experience, where they're based, where they're willing to travel to, and then Autodesk vet them, check them, make sure they haven't just dropped out of the womb and then they're looking for a bit of small pocket change but they actually don't know what they're talking about. So they check and filter out all those people and then it can be either proper, you know, long, long-term long CAD suppliers, you, you know, all the ones that are old in the tooth and they've been around since Cat was a kitten, all of those guys, your Kativs, your Imaginates, your Symmetries, all the big players, they'll they'll end up being on here. But you've also got your independent contractors as well, the likes of myself. I am not on here. I am too busy. But people like me will register as well because I want to be, if I need work, I'd want to be found. And this is a way to be found by people who need work. So that's kind of what it's about, really. It's just a checked list of credible Autodesk approved service providers who you can find. That's it. That's what it's all about. You go and buy product, you go and buy service type, what do you need training uh, and which industry you're in. That's what it's about. Let's get into where it needs to improve. The first <laughs> the first area is, I don't even know where to begin with this, right? But let's just go through it like I'm a user, like I'm a, let's pretend I'm a, a, a small UK business, maybe two or three engineers, two or three designers, and I need a day's training on Inventor. So I'm based in Birmingham, for example. I need a day's training on Inventor. So I need to find a provider for that. So I'll go and buy products. So let's click Inventor. Uh, and that takes me into the def like a default list of Inventor providers. On the left-hand side of the website, Autodesk, I've just clicked the, the, the Inventor product. I don't know why you're giving me every product here consuming the entire left-hand side of the website. This is a complete waste of real estate. I've already clicked the product that I use. I don't think, this is a bit minor, but uh, that is a waste of real estate there. So what the next thing I'd have to do is scroll all the way down and then I'd have to go in by training. So I'd click the training filter and then it resets the, it didn't reset the website, but it sort of jumps back up to the top. And then I have to scroll all the way down again to get to the location. So I'd expand Europe and then I'll select United Kingdom. I think what would be a lot better is immediately upon going to either the the, the landing page on the marketplace or going into uh, click an inventor, the first link, it should prompt you with a pop-up to say, where are you based? Because that should help them rule out a lot of suppliers that wouldn't be able to help you. But anyway, I'll click United Kingdom and this is now giving me inventor providers who are able to offer training in the United Kingdom. Great, that's a brilliant idea. I know that the list of, unfortunately at the moment, it's very underrepresented in Europe. It's weighted at the moment towards the BIM market because that's where it started out, architecture and construction. And it's only recently adopted Inventor and Fusion 360 in the manufacturing products. So those suppliers will grow in time. But there's still some more fundamental problems with this. But on the plus side, it is letting me know that these providers have said to Waterdesk, I am willing to offer training. That's what I do on Inventor in the UK. So this list of people is exactly who I'm looking for. That's the that's the point of the marketplace. I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, 
the way the, the, the providers are presented to the end user is absolutely terrible at the moment. And I'll tell you why. I'm in the UK. I'm a very small company on a tight budget. I know I'm going to have to cough up on training. It's going to be a big hit to the business because we're a small company, but I'm prepared to do it in the best interests of the business. I'm going to get in touch with this guy here. And fortunately for me, I suppose, I know this is why I say your CAD guru. I know Mike personally, but what's not apparent here at all. I am Michael Davis, former tech support employee. I've been blah, 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 the expert lead, yada, yada, yada. Your CAD guru, I'm excited to be your best friend and da, da, da. Sorry, Mike, I'm going to use you as, as an example here because you are top of the list. You get special snowflake treatment. Mike does watch these videos now and again. So what's not obvious from what you're looking at right now is that Mike is actually based in the US. Mike is not in the UK, but there is nothing there that makes that obvious or lets me know. So I'm a small business owner. I'm going to obviously get in touch with Mike. He seems, sounds like he knows what he's talking about. And he does, fortunately. Yeah, I, know, I know Mike personally. He's very, very competent. Personally, Forgetting the context of the video, I would actually highly recommend Mike if you're looking for inventor trading. Just not if you're in the UK, because what's going to happen is you're going to click send inquiry. You're going to spend a good 20 minutes typing out your name, your contact details, thinking about what it is you need and typing out, oh, we're looking for guidance on a bit, you know, just a couple hours on frame generator, maybe some tubing and piping, maybe a bit of this, maybe a bit of that. And then you click send. But what you don't know is he's in the US, so he's about seven hours behind you. So he's going to get your response. He's going to reply. And then it's going to take a day for him to get back to you. And he's going to say to you, look, mate, you're in the UK. I'm in the US. Realistically, I can't come out for... I'm not going to fly halfway across the world for one day's training. You're going to have to pay for my flights. I'm going to have to lose a day's work before I travel. And then a day's work after I travel for traveling back. I can't ask you to cover those costs. The training course will just treble in price. It's not worth my time and it's not worth your money for me to come all the way out of the UK for one day's training. And unfortunately, I think that the majority of the people who use this website will be that. It'll be people looking for one or two days training or a day's consultancy work, someone to write a small program for them, uh, which some of that could be done online, but I didn't select online filter. There is one down here, online slash virtual. I selected specifically, I'm in the UK and I need training in the UK. So that's not great. Uh, and that then begs the question, why did Mike appear on the list here then? If he's in the US, why is he appearing on the list as being a training provider for someone in the UK? That's a good question and is a good answer. I would have done the exact same thing Mike did. I've seen the form you fill out to be registered on this website. And what Autodesk do is they give you a big, in fact, they give you the same list you get here a big list of regions and they say where are you prepared to travel to and obviously he's going to check every single one of them because there is a good chance that a huge enterprise in india or australia or new zealand might be looking for a unique set of skills that just mike has and if they're if they're going to say to mike hey we've got this opportunity do you want to come out to india for six months we'll pay you four figures a day for six months because we need your skill set Mike's not going to say no to that, and he absolutely does not want to miss that opportunity either. I would have done the exact same thing. Of course, he's going to tick all of those boxes. Unfortunately, that also puts him in the list of people who are just looking for a day's training in the UK, and that's not going to work out. How do you fix that? I don't know. Fortunately, that's not my problem. That's yours, Autodesk. So that's not great. And the same is for Next Gen Cam. Next Gen Cam have a. I've checked up on their website. They've got a single office in Washington, in the US, and uh, they're a very small team. They're the same. They're not going to send a guy out to the UK for one day's training and ask the client to cover the costs. And the client's going to look at the price and go, hang on a minute, you want me to pay how much for your flights and your hotel and to cover the lost time that you wouldn't otherwise be working because you're traveling? I'll just go local, thanks, which is what this should have given them in the first place. That's not great. That needs some work, Autodesk. Uh, and the reason that happens is because it defaults the sort to number of reviews. And of course, Mike appears on top because he's got the most reviews. Uh, if you select most, there's only three, top rated, which is also going to be Mike. And then we've got, uh, oh, next gen. How is that even possible? <laughs> Mike's got five reviews and five stars. And these guys have got one review. Never mind. There's some more feedback for your Autodesk. Uh, if we select most relevant, I don't know what most relevant means. Maybe this is local. I don't know because Grey Tech are local. They are based in the UK. However, I also know that NKE 
are based in Italy and Spain, in Europe somewhere, whereas next gen camera in the US. So I don't know why these guys are over these guys when the, these guys are closer. So I don't know what that I don't know what that's about. It's it's not the best. It's not the best to to default this to uh, number of reviews. What's going to happen after this when this website becomes more populated? Let's say for example, there's 30 registered US suppliers who've said we're happy to do training in the UK if an enterprise comes along with pockets deep enough to send us there. They're going to appear in these search results. Okay. I then come along. I'm in the UK. I'm an independent contractor. I might be right up the street from you. I register. I've never used this service before, so I'm going in there with zero reviews. When you search for an inventor service provider for training, I'm going to be buried underneath 30 suppliers who aren't going to help you. And then there's me sort of underneath a pile of US suppliers going, I, I'm here, I'm here. And you're not going to find me. Whether or not I'll appear based on most relevant, I don't know what most relevant means. Until Grey Tech appeared, they've just appeared in the last day because I did this yesterday and they weren't there. Uh, I didn't know what most relevant means. Maybe that is looking at your browser location and it's doing some kind of search based off of where they are. I don't know. If it was based on location, then NKE should be above Next Gen Cam, but then they've got no reviews, so I don't know. It should be sorting based on location. It should ask me where I am because I can use this without being logged in. There is no login anywhere on here that I can see. So it should ask me where I am and then it should match me with suppliers because they've told Autodesk where they are because location is a lot more useful than number of reviews. It's absolutely no good having a, a Taiwanese CAD supplier who can't speak a word of English that got 55 star reviews I'm going to choose a one star UK supplier over a 50 you know, do, you know what I'm, do you know what I'm getting at with that you know what I mean that's that's about it really other than that it's a, it's a good idea but the, the algorithm and the way it presents the supplies to you just needs a lot of work uh, it needs to start becoming more populated with suppliers it's, it's a shame it is a shame I know where Autodesk is coming from because it's new there's not many people on here. Is that is that because not many people have applied or is that because they're trying to just slowly push it into adoption? I, I don't know. But the sad fact of the matter is Autodesk is when you guys release services and people use them for the first time and they see they're not very good, in your mind, you're, you're thinking, well, it's going to get better. It's early days. The customer sees it and goes, this is crap. I'm not going to come back to it or use it again. We're not really into early access in this in this uh, in this area we want things to be finished and pretty good when they come out it could get better it could get better uh, am i on it no uh, i'm too busy way too busy to be taking on any more work uh, which i kind of apologize but kind of not to the people who've emailed me direct using the youtube link which specifically states please don't use this to ask for help it's for business inquiries only i can't take on any more work i've got far too much on I've, i'm like you i've got a day job which has got nothing to do with youtube and then afterwards, I try and do stuff like this. And then if I was to stop it, this is going to take me another hour or so to finish. By that time, it's going to be six o'clock in the evening. And then the wife's going to come in. And if I just every day carry on working through the night, looking at people's questions that come through on YouTube emails, I'll work myself for an early grave and I'll be divorced in the lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm not going on the head there. That's probably about enough feedback on the marketplace. It's sort of a hybrid video, awareness and a bit of feedback at the same time. Uh, what browser providers do? Inventors. It's just going to take us back to the same page. Yes, it does. Uh, CAD Pro there in New Zealand. A again, like going into the inventor link, it should it should be establishing where I am based on either browser tracking or asking me. Uh, as good as CAD Pro systems are, I know someone that works there. They're in New Zealand. You cannot get further away from me than New Zealand. It's not possible. <laughs> so why are they at the top of the list? above uh well how far down a gray tech then gray tech are at the bottom on page one they're like literally about 20 miles away from me uh kativ nke nke are in europe everywhere else is in the us so yeah the company that <laughs> the company that's like literally 20 miles away from me uh is buried and the company that's in new zealand's on top of the list do you see what I mean? They, they need to work on their filters and the way the, the providers are presented. But other than that, at its core, this is a good idea. Please step up the, the game and, and make this better quickly. 
because uh, it's got potential. It, it really does have potential if it works out. As long as the people on here aren't absolute mooks and they're good at what they do, it should be a good thing for everyone. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.